Hi, my name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on Paths option inside Object menu. So I would like to start with Join tool. Uh, so before using this Join tool, I need some curves. So I'm going to create that using the Pen tool here. I will generally pick a color just for better visibility. And also I increase the stroke value to the six points here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve and it generally creates up a path here and I'm going to stop this at a particular point and then hit escape so that it stops that curve drawing till there. Now you got one curve or one path uh, available. Now let's create the another path here. So select the pen tool again and then draw it from there. Like that. And again hit escape. And then you got two paths here created. So now I'm going to select these both paths and go to the object menu, path section and choose join tool here. You can use control J as a keyboard shortcut. Then you could see this curve and that curve has been connected here. Let me try the other way. I will go to the object path and then use this option called reverse path direction. Or I can try this one maybe and see if anything works here. Now once that is done, I'm selecting these both paths and apply join tool again. Now you should be able to see there is no uh, effect on the connection because it is trying to identify the closest points here. Let's try using this in a different way. Now let's select these two paths again apply path join and you should be able to see there's a connection going this way. So join tool is basically joining two different curves based on their position. Now once that has been created, you can also apply the join tool once again where a open path becomes a closed path. I'll just try to make it a better shape. So I'll just select this direct selection tool and then move it like that here. Now once that has been uh, adjusted, you should see there is an open path here. For better visibility, I'll switch off the color uh, the color fill off. Now once that has been selected, I'll go to the object, path and then apply join. Now you should be able to see this open path has now become a closed path. Let's try to understand the average tool in the path section. Alt Ctrl J is a keyboard shortcut given to average tool. Now if I just select any open path or closed path and select the average tool, you have the axis at which you want to average them. So I'm just selecting the horizontal average option and then apply OK. Now you should be able to see the curve here. And then once I have applied that uh, average tool on it, now what you should be able to see is the points are now in a single straight line. Keeping that points and their interpolation, you're getting that curve, which is not exactly straight, but based on the previous positions. So it's a great uh, way to create all points in one single straight line. I can do that again in the vertical side and then all the points will become in one single straight line. And you can also do it for both sides, which is horizontal and vertical. Sorry, this is vertical and this is both. So all points came into one place here. So I have changed the stroke type from basic to the charcoal feather, I have increased the stroke point value here so that you could see the stroke looks very jaggy and rough. 
so once that has been uh, achieved i'm going to select the object menu path and then choose this option called outline stroke now earlier if you could able to see here you have a blue line which is basically the path of the fill but once i apply this tool called outline stroke now what happens is the stroke is now outlined with the path options if you could see i have created this path into a closed shape and i have also changed the path uh, stroke to the basic again and i've just kept it simple four point stroke here so i'm going to select this go to the object menu path and we have this tool called offset path so just select that and then you should able to see there is a margin and a stroke has been created out of that so offset value basically when i increase that you could see there is a uh, margin which has been increased here every time i am applying it you have joints here one is the meter <coughs> i'll just try to change the values here to something like 10 or 12 and you should able to see that line here which is in the corner and it's pretty much carrying the same kind of corner to the offset path also if i generally change it to the round it generally makes that into a round corner and if i change it to the bevel and you should able to see this and you can still explore the offset value as you required it is the same path what i have got but i have removed the fill color and i just kept that particular stroke and it has got some points of 29 but what i am going to do is i am going to open the stroke style here and we have some uh, limited options i just click that three lines and then open the brush library and then go to the arrows and then choose arrow special or arrow standard anything would do in this case and i just select a simple arrow here and then what you should able to see is the stroke is now converted into a arrow it has got a arrow head and the tail and you should able to see that's really going well now what i'm going to do is select that particular curve and then go to object and paths and then use this tool called reverse path direction if you remember last time when i've tried to apply that in the two in the join option it really didn't work but if in this case uh, in the reverse path direction when i apply it the arrow head changes its placement so it started from here and the tail is on the opposite side i have the same curve here i'm going to apply this tool called simplify so i just click that and open it and you should able to see there a, a slider which is coming in the middle so there are two icons here one icon is uh, with minimum anchor points and another one is the maximum anchor points so if i slide this value to the higher side the most uh, the more number of points which we have seen will be there on the curve when i reduce it it generally tries to reduce the number of points on the curve okay so that's one thing about this and also you have this auto simplify option when you click that the curve will try to automatically simplify this particular curve it tries to reduce and alter the points there so you can use a manual method or you can use the auto simplify method so whenever i am adjusting that you could see there is a pop up of seven points coming there when i click auto simplify it it shows that it has got eight anchor points alternatively you can click this three dotted options and then you get the simplification uh, features now uh, it is the same slider what you have seen outside so when i reduce this it reduces the points when i increases it increases the points okay so make sure that the preview option is on and then just keep it uh, i mean when i change the value make sure that the effect is seen on the stroke now the effect is basically controlled by this next option called corner point angle angle threshold so if you see if you could see there are two uh, uh, icons one is showing the corner and another one is showing the arc so if i put the higher value okay uh, which is uh, 
preferring the corner and if i put the low value it's preferring the the smooth part so if i reduce the value okay and then increase this or decrease it you may see the way this tool is working on it i can generally try something else let me see if i if it can help me so i'll just select and then draw a different tool now i select the object okay the curve and then try it with the simplify tool open the options and then reduce this or increase it L make sure that uh, whenever i am doing this you could see there are some corners when i am trying to simplify it this corner is becoming round if you could see that okay now if i increase this value okay it will not affect that area because i told that i i want that corners to be preserved so that's how this corner threshold value helps so the higher value of corner threshold is not affecting that simplification here whereas when i reduce that it's affecting the simplification there okay so you have these two uh, simple options you have auto simplify tool which basic basically uh, picks the suitable values there for the curve you have option called convert to straight lines will make everything into straight lines there you have a nice option called show original path you need to magnify it to see it clearly okay and you should be able to see i'll just magnify it and show you it. okay select that go to object path simplify open it and show original path and then reduce the values you should be able to see the red color one is the original path and the blue one is the modified path so you want to see that original path you can just keep it enabled there you have a option here which is basically uh, retain my latest settings and directly open this dialog let's say i've reduced this uh, corner point angle threshold and reduce this uh, simplify curve option also and i'm also enabling show original path and if you see the value is 8% and 0 degrees has been set here and when i apply okay by enabling this retain my latest settings option now what happens is when next time when i apply this path tool okay sorry simplify tool it directly goes to the same values and it opens a simplify window let's say if i don't do that you should able to see this is the uh, simplify option what i have got more options when i click it's giving me the dialog box here but when I enable that it's not showing that uh, the options which were there in the middle was not shown and it directly opened the simplify dialog box with the values which we have my set in the previous time so that's how this retain my latest settings and direct open dialog uh, and directly open this dialog feature will work let's have a look on the next feature for that i just wanted to create a path so i'm using the pen tool i'm tr uh, precisely i am trying to count the po points here so select the point that's the first point that's the second point that's the third point and that's the fourth point okay now you want to count it again 1 2 3 4 okay so select that particular path and then go to the object and then you use this tool called add anchor points so what that actually does now is it will add 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so every two anchor points has a anchor point in the middle 
so add anchor points will double the number of points what we have got so again you can select it again you can go to object paths and then choose add anchor points this time you get more number of points adding in the middle of every point what you have created the next feature is remove anchor points for that i am going to select this path and go to the direct selection path and you should able to see the anchor points so to remove them what you need to do is select the anchor point go to object path and then say remove anchor point and it generally removes that point which you have selected let's explore divide objects below tool for that i need some paths here so i want a uh, path created from text so i'm going to use the text tool and type my name once that has been created i want to convert them into the paths so i'm going to use this tool called expand tool and just simply enable this object option here and then say okay and what what you should able to see is now this is turned into paths so once that is done i can use this feature so i'm going to select or make a copy of this to see multiple ways to you know apply it so firstly is i got this uh, text here and then i want to cut it from the half so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, line segment tool and then from sorry from here till there i just cut it like that okay once that is done i'm going to select that particular line segment and go to the object path and then choose divide objects below and you should able to see there is a cut here i'm going to select the group selection tool and i'm going to select each and every text like that and just move it for you to better visible i'll also use this pen tool which is basically creating a wave like form so i'm going to draw like that i'll change the stroke type here to black and then fill type to none so that you can generally see it clearly so i'm going to select this one and go to the object path and then choose divide objects below and you get the same thing cut but this time you got a wave you can choose a direction selection tool and then just move it like that i select all these objects and delete let me try using some simple shapes so i'm going to create a star i'm going to create a ellipse a polygon so i've got simple shapes here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a rectangle on top of it okay and this rectangle i just create a stroke of yellow color and then fill to none for you to better visible you should able to see that yellow uh, circ uh, the path which is on top of these three shapes so select that yellow line for better visibility i'll change it to red for you to see you should see that red color so select that one go to object path and then say divide objects below and you should able to see that has been cut here like that let's explore this tool called split into the grid so mostly i prefer this to be used on the rectangle tool so select and draw a rectangle there and also you can apply some stroke here like that so once that is done here i I'm, i'm going to select this object called split into the grid and you have rows and you got columns here so you can increase the uh, rows and also you can increase the columns enable the preview and you should able to see this you have this gutter value which increases the space between these two uh, shapes here so 48 pixels gap can be seen here in the rows and also you can control the same thing in the columns like that you can control the width and you can control the total 
height and total width so i can just select that and you should be able to see i'm reducing the total width of the object and i'm also able to control the total height of the object you can also enable the guides and then say okay then you should be able to see something here it can be used when creating some complex uh, grid like arrangements it would be quite beneficial